sometimes we will have details. So these would be blow-ups of certain things. Where I have this thicker line, that would say the detail section is cut through here, but to see that particular detail, go look at image one on page A5.1 to see the detail that's cut through here. Another option might be that I might have a floor plan and I might have an enlarged area in through here, which might be another detail call out. So we have a dashed line that goes around the area that's going to be enlarged in the detail. And we would say to see this enlarged area, go and look at image two on page A5.1. On a floor plan, you will also frequently see interior elevation callouts. These are typically in rooms that have a lot of design input from the client, like bathrooms and kitchens. This is the typical design where we have a circle that's inside a rotated square or a diamond shape. At the corners of the diamond, we will have either letters or numbers. And in this case, these represent drawings 1A, 1B, 1C, and 1D that are found on sheet A7.1. You can see here something similar where these reference drawings 2, 3, 4, and 5 on sheet A7.1. If they are all filled in, then all views are being referenced, and you may see some plans where none of these are filled in. These are column grid lines which are typical for projects that have steel or concrete construction. The structural grid is usually defined by the structural engineer. The grid allows us to reference building elements from a common datum point, in this case, the vertical and horizontal lines of the structural grid. We can only see grid line 1, which is a vertical line, and grid line A, which is a horizontal line, but there would be many more vertical and horizontal lines on our floor plans. As we're developing a set of drawings, everything is always changing. So when we have made a modification, what we typically do is we put a revision cloud around it and we put a delta number, meaning change. The revision cloud is this kind of bubble that will surround the updated information. The delta is the triangle, and this will always include the revision number, in this case, the number 1. This number will reference the revision legend, usually found in the title block, to keep track of the revision date and other notes. So these are symbols that you will see on most floor plans that start directing people where to go on other sheets of paper to find out more information.